This scar right here is from 1995. That was the emergency surgery that they did. This scar is also from 1995. This was my second open heart surgery. This scar here is where they opened my chest. I could always hear my chest pop like your ankles would pop. The first time that I noticed I had health issues, I was in a meeting and I started getting this flush feeling like I had drank too much coffee. I still talk to other black men who still don't trust the healthcare system. And I remember seeing on one of his notepads, am I going to die? This is the first time that I've talked about the different things my dad has gone through. You over there crying, that's not gonna help him. So you need to get it together. We don't have a healthcare system in America. We have a disease detection and management system. We know that stress actually has a direct impact on heart health. Stress can also come from racism and discrimination. I saw myself spiraling downhill with my health. I decided to do something about it, and I don't know what made me buy a bicycle, but I bought a bicycle. We spent more money on this medication than I'm spending on bikes. We talk about a one-way trip from St. Louis to Chicago. I was cursing at Eric during the ride and I said, man, how did you come up with this? Watch your dog, watch your dog, dog, dog. My son is always thinking about things that seem impossible. You shouldn't want to ever cuss your father out, but I want to cuss him out right now. Eric asked me early on, do I think I'm going to make this trip? Right now, it's not 100%. I think he's a living witness that you can turn things around at any time. My doctor, he said, Donnie, the disability asked me, when are you going to die? Because you're living beyond their expectations. And they were asking my doctor, why was I still alive?